Well, it's June 5th. I'm heading back out to Black Point to check out the seagrass. Now, uh, just to let people know exactly where Black Point is, because there's several Black Points. There's one up near Titusville, up in that area. This is the one, Black Point, that's just east of Sebastian. So right now, I am over here at uh, Riverview Park. It's a great little kayak launch spot. If you haven't been here, it's, it's a cool spot to put in. They have a nice little area where you can drop off your kayaks or paddle boards, and then you park across the street, and there's ample parking. And as soon as you put in, you will notice there are spoil islands to the uh, south and to the north. Some of them you can't camp on, and uh, there's fish all around these areas. Now, Black Point, if you look behind me, it's way over on the other side. So it's about a two-mile paddle to that point. But we had a record amount of... Uh, rainfall in this last week so i'm really curious on how it's going to look today also uh rain's be coming a little bit later on too so i'm gonna have to hurry up make a two uh, two mile paddle get out to black point check it out once i put the cameras down i could see that the grass has been growing it's shown improvement over last month it's starting to get a little thicker starting to get a little bit longer but really what surprised me with the record amount of rain that we've been having over the last week was the clarity of the water. It was very clear. Now Black Point isn't near any discharge as far as any canals. And that is a big help. But I've seen it before where we've had a lot of rain where that area gets really muddied up. But for now, it's looking good. And uh, hopefully it'll stay that way. As long as the sun can penetrate, get down to the seagrass, it has a good chance of growing in the next few months is when it's really going to take off. You can see this is this is uh, last month and you can see how it is and the clarity of the water was good that month too and here it is this month. Like I say considering the overcast cloudy conditions that we had and the amount of rain water quality was very good so I'm feeling good about it. Hopefully, you know, this is going to be a good year. I know Indian River County has been doing a lot to help clean up the uh, water discharges from local canals, you know, with their storm run, uh, with their uh, stormwater parks. And uh, some of them are quite impressive. If you haven't checked them out, please check them out. And also, if you want to help, you know, you can become a member of the Indian River Keepers. And they're doing a lot and uh, going to start monitoring the water and taking water samples and sharing it with, uh, with, uh, with other groups that are working as far as keeping the water quality in the Indian River Lagoon good. So I'll keep you updated on that also. Till next time, this is Pete Hink. We'll see you.